Hi, in this video we will see how we can set up .NET 8 with Visual Studio Code. For this video, I am assuming that you already have Visual Studio Code. The first step is to download and install .NET SDK. The second step is to add extensions to the Visual Studio Code. And the last step is to create projects. Now let's go to our browser and download .NET SDK. Here you have to write .NET download. Go to this first link. From here you can see that we have a link for Windows. You can go to other variants of .NET 8 by going to this link. From here, you can see that we have .NET 8 as the latest version. And this is the SDK that is required for installation. For Linux, you can download your installer. For Mac, you can download your installer. For Windows, I can download it from here. Also, if I go back, I can also download it from here. This is the same link. So I will click on this one. Now the file has been downloaded successfully. As you can see it here. I will run the file. From here, click on install. The SDK has been installed successfully and it has installed .NET SDK runtime, core runtime and Windows desktop runtime. So I will close this one. Now I will open my Visual Studio. I will go to the terminal. And here I will write .NET. You can see that .NET is working. That means .NET has been installed successfully. If I go to .NET list SDKs. So we have got the latest SDK dot net 8 after that i will go to the extensions and here i will write c sharp dev now as whole you can install this extension it is recommended for c sharp what this extension do, it basically install three other extensions that is C Shop, IntelliCode for C Shop and .NET Runtime Install Tool. So if you don't want to install this dev kit, you can simply install C Shop extension. This one, okay. But we will go with the C Shop dev kit because it is the latest one and Microsoft recommends this. So install this one. It can take some time on your system depending on your internet speed. The extension has been installed successfully. If I go to the extensions tab, you can see that we have installed these extensions from C Shop Dev Kit. So after that, once again, I will go to the terminal. And here I will go to my D drive. I will make a folder that will be .NET. After that, I will go to that folder and here I will create a new project. Now before creating any project, I will show you the list of projects.
so these are the project templates that you can use for your requirements we have console app here we have blazor we have mvc we have web api so i will go with mvc let's see dot net new mvc and the output will be practice okay okay done now after that i will open that here you can see that we have got this so i will open this window and from here we have got the controllers models and views now i will run this application for running the application you should be in that folder that contains the project file if i go to practice.csproj file you can see that we are targeting .NET 8 so everything is working fine now let's run this project cd practice after that i will build it it is saying that build succeeded and zero warning zero errors so i will run this project now we can use this link on the browser or we can follow it from here you can see that we have got this practice home privacy so this is the default template for mvc that microsoft provides now we have successfully installed dotnet sdk that's all from my side let's meet in the next video